There is a stirring that's taking place in the higher heart. I want to say the area of the thalamus, just above the heart area. This area is being activated and we are instructed to breathe the divine, sacred, holy breath and in-breath. Focusing in this area of the chest. is just above the heart and in the center. In this area there, there's a great activation, an important divine energetic, ripened and ready to be activated. It is connected indeed to the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love, the ray of love everlasting, eternal, the source of all things, all creation, and all that we call creator. And indeed, this is a higher frequency level of this love that's within each and every human, each and every one that holds a remnants, a part of some more than others, the Adam Kadman, divine human. And indeed, beloveds, it is part of the Adam Kadman and its spiritual anatomy. That there are those parts that are simply remnants of what you hold in your physical, mental, and emotional bodies. Remnants and in most cases, completely dormant. But we say to you that there is a great rising of frequency upon many of the children of light, many upon the earth, many who have come to say, I will be there and to do my part to bring forth the divine plan a plan indeed most ancient, whose roots come from the ancient of days. And beloveds, that is who and what you are. And so this anatomy, the spiritual anatomy, beckons to be more expressed, yes, indeed, into the physical, mental, and emotional bodies of those that were upon the earth of sacred earth mother. And as you grow on your journey and the many levels and interconnecting, interweaving of many frequencies, agendas, purposes, Commitments, promises, alignments, converge. Converge into a singularity of a quantum for those humans upon the earth who are ready to walk through the eye of the needle. The eye of the needle is not for everyone. For the eye of the needle has been lifetimes of service, lifetimes of commitment, and indeed, beloveds, lifetimes of challenges, lifetimes of suffering and sacrifice. But here we are for those who have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, to anchor in the higher spiritual anatomy of the most beloved, the most cherished Adam Kadman, the divine human of whom the great messengers of many verses and multiverses carry out the purpose and the plan of the divine. And indeed are the harbingers of good news 
harbingers of support, harbingers of love from the source of the divine. The Adam Kadman is radiant. The Adman Kadman is made of love. Now, beloveds, there is that frequency that air is a part of you that remembers a high light body and experience of that. It is far removed from the physical, mental, and emotional experience you have now, but there's that part of you that with each and every single in-breath and out-breath through the higher heart, through that chest area that seeks to activate, that seeks to move, that seeks to remember and to come into the higher alignment with the divine human, indeed as it resides in the ascendant realms of Zion. Indeed, the new Jerusalem is upon us. The new Jerusalem is upon the children of the light upon the earth. And as these cosmic memories and indeed the multiplicity of cosmic memories coming in into a great convergence, we say to you, beloveds, part of the journey that you are on those steps that you take, the experiences that you have is all in preparation for a great quantum that many of you are ready to receive, accept, and to move forward on. And as divine master Jesus Christ said, as you move forward on the path, the path indeed is narrow. And so with each and every sacred, holy in-breath and out-breath, we now breathe in golden white. It is gold with flecks of golden flecks in a white beam integrated. It is indeed golden and white mixture See it clearly in your spiritual eye, how this manifests for you. This specific frequency comes from the highest realms beyond the Azaluf worlds, beyond the paradise worlds, coming from the highest of the heavens, indeed of the crystalline cities and the Shambhala worlds coming from the great frequency of the divine human, the Adam Kadman, coming in a form and in a frequency and in a dynamic that can come into the physical, mental, and emotional frequencies of the earth. Through the many processes and levels that she has, it reaches into the frequency of the children of light. And so as you see this funnel of light that comes in, a mixture of white and gold, luminescent beyond description in the way that your spiritual eye can see it, but see it clearly. And as it moves down and into the antikarana, into your spiritual tube, widening in it and removing any blockages, any resistance, moving it out of the way and bringing it into the earth for the great Pachamama to take it and transmute it into loving, benevolent energies. And as you feel this current now beginning to move in and through this tube of light, clearing and widening in, the antikarana, that internal tube of light that you hold, 
that holds this frequency coming in. Breathe with the breath, coming into the higher area of the chest, area above the heart. And it is in this white and gold frequency that we do our great work. As you begin to feel, sense, and integrate this amazing tube of light that begins to expand within your frequency of your physical, mental, and emotional body, widening, widening. And the influx of the white gold light pours in more abundantly and its radiance becomes more powerful. Its luminescence, it's beyond description and fills you completely. And so you are that white golden light that is radiant beyond measure for it comes from the highest of the celestial realms of light, moving in through the divine Christ consciousness, divine Maitreya, coming into the earth plane and coming into the children of light who have the capacity of the higher heart of compassion and unconditional love. For that indeed, beloved, is the gateway. And coming in into attracting through this resonant field of unconditional love, indeed, the movement of the sacred heart, indeed, the movement of the compassionate, loving frequencies of the Christ Maitreya light. As a great magnet, this light now comes from the heavenly realms. And as it comes into the higher heart, the area just above the heart, the area of that chest, it now bursts out in all directions like a little sun. And you hold this visual, beloved. Focus and concentrate, for this is an alchemy of the highest order. And you put your intention, your attention in this area of your body. You begin to feel the movement, not only in the front, but in the back. And you feel it now beginning to move through this little sun that you hold, holding this higher chakra system connected to this white and gold luminous light. And all the radiant ones in all realities and all dimensions that come from the heart of God, holding the frequency of the white gold light. And you are completely absorbed, integrated into this light. You are the core of this sun. And as such, the very core, you emanate this light out in all directions. And as you come together as the children of light upon the earth who have not forgotten, who have come lifetime after lifetime to be in this singularity of luminescent light, open up the higher gateway of the higher chakra for the human experience not only yourselves, beloved, but all that you are connected to. For you are the great alchemist. You are the great transformers. And your transcendence allows you to move into the higher frequencies of unconditional love. Indeed, the source of what source is. This is your power. This is your alchemy. This is your destiny. This is your purpose. And to bring in the deep memory of the ancient of days, the promise, the commitment, the collaborations, It is here now we do our great work. 
And as you begin to feel the movement in the area of the physical body, knowing that the higher correspondence of the many bodies you hold, all are focused in this area, attention and intention to open up the dormant sleeping frequency, the higher luminescent of the higher love, higher love that integrates even as you walk a physical, mental, and emotional world. It is that higher love that has kept the masters in bliss. It is the higher love that keeps the rishis and the saints in awe, in ecstasy, and in deep love. It is the higher love that moves universes and creates. It is a higher love that you begin to remember living, experiencing, and being in this love consistently. Consistently. The omniessence of it all, the omnipotency of it all, the oneness of it all the power of it all. As you begin to feel your own physical nervous system begin to vibrate higher. As the very electrons spin within your atomic and subatomic levels begins to come into a greater frequency and alignment. You simply breathe the holy sacred in-breath and out-breath and allow the process to happen. You feel it emanating from the higher chest area as the activation begins to take place. Remembering as you breathe and do many things at once, the sacred in-breath and out-breath flows in and through this area of your body even as you hold the core of this luminous light that moves out in all directions. And as you hold this luminous core, the core of your being, the core of the truth of what beingness is, that brings you back to the ancient of days your cosmic legacy history, and that what you hold and have. As you begin to activate that part of you once again, as you breathe into the area of the physical body and the many bodies it's connected to, as indeed your family of light hold this frequency and this platform for you to experience this as you keep your focus and attention, as you breathe each and every holy sacred in-breath and out-breath, focus and attention to the area above the heart in the center of the chest, the divine energy vortex opening up, opening up. As the antikarana continues to expand, to where now you are no longer, nor can you be in a physical, mental, and emotional body, but expand now in consciousness, knowing that many levels of yourself are interconnected and are being touched. In the many realms and the many expressions that you are part of, expanding your consciousness now into the multiple layers of who and what you are, drawing upon the many, many layers, the many timelines, the many experiences of the past, the present and the future into this one singularity. That as you feel these energies now on the many multiple levels of yourself, begin to turn and twist, affect and move different parts of yourself now becoming awakened and is indeed in the awakening process 
that we hold this frequency for the next quantum. Indeed, beloveds, the next level service, the next understanding, higher purpose, higher wisdom, and higher duty now begins to unfold for each and every one. And as you experience this and move into the highest parts of your own divinity, so too the things of life begin to fall into place with more ease and grace. You say, beloved, is it worth the path? Indeed it is. For the great ones, the ones who have come before have walked this path, speak of the glory and the bliss and the joy. That all that it took all the challenges and suffering and indeed great sacrifices, not in just this lifetime, but in many lifetimes to bring you to who and where you are in this moment is the great blessing, is the divine grace that pulls you into the new chapter of your ever ongoing book of life, your book of service. The cosmic book now opens and Akashic records now reveal the higher understanding that each and every one that has brought you to this moment, the greater wisdom and understanding to move forward on your path, your next level service, that you do so with ease and grace. That as you move past your personal and collective initiations, they bring forth the higher wisdom, the higher understanding. That grace flows and hope grows. Grace flows and hope grows. Grace flows and hope grows. Simply breathe and be. Breathe and be. You are the white golden light. And as you view things around you, you see that you are way, way above the earth. Your beingness cannot be contained. You incorporate the very logi of your sun and the celestial bodies that move around the great sun of Helios Vesta. You, beloved, incorporate the bodies of light of great suns. You are not contained, but eternal and ever growing and creating. In this part, we say to you, beloveds, embrace this magnificence that you are. We bring to you the truth of your magnificence. You are so beyond this earth, beyond the solar system. You embrace the Hunan Ku, your very galactic mother. And as you think of great sons, and as you think of the great celestial bodies, these things are common. These things are known. These things are simply part of what and who you are.
Let us be together for these few more moments. As we are deeply immersed on so many levels into the white and golden frequency of this higher love that comes. Let us breathe it on all levels of ourselves and most certainly into the physical, mental, and emotional bodies. This is the gift. This is the grace. This it must flows. You can feel it moving through your nervous system. You feel its presence within you, around you, and outside of you. There is nowhere you are in consciousness that it is not. Breathe deeply and integrate this energy, beloveds. Stay focused. For each and every holy, sacred in-breath and out-breath coming in through the portal of light, opening up in your chest. Brings you into a new level of grace and bliss. A new level of remembrance and cosmic accomplishments. Indeed, beloveds, great creator of worlds you are. Samba O Naminda Amina 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 And now the time of the return is upon us. And as such, the energies begin to slow down. The white and golden ray that came in from the upper worlds begins to retract from the antipanara but leaves behind a residue and the fullness of it remains. We intend before we go to bed to remember the experience as it continues. We bring attention again to the higher part of our chest above the heart. But each time we think of it, it continues to activate. 
it continues to grow and will in time stay open. Be aware of the days and weeks and months to come, new upgrades, new experiences, new happenings, coming and integrating into your life that will be the new normal for you. Expect healing, expect balance, expect vision, and expect wholeness in all things. And we prepare ourselves now to, back, to be back totally in our physical, mental, and emotional bodies. On the count of three, we will be back anchored, very connected and grounded to the earth. We will be balanced and hold a deep peace within us as we continue to vibrate in higher frequencies that bring that higher love that brings you into the higher awareness of who and what you are, the power that you hold, and the love that you are. Count to three, we'll be back, awake, alert, and grounded. One, two, take a deep breath in, and three. We are back, awake, alert, and we are grounded.